All right, guys, welcome to episode 59 of In the Shop with Custom Lows. It's been a while since I've done a video, and recently I've been doing a lot of videos where I'm only posting the finished product of things, but I figured it'd be a good time. It's a new year. I really wanted to restart on, not the daily vlogs, um, but more something that is a little more consistent than just doing it when the finished product is. So here I have a closure for two Big, Bo Big Brute 15s. Uh, I'm working on it right now. It's in the raw stage. So here it is. Like I said, it's for two Big Brute are two brutal sounds big brute 15s it's got two plexi windows on the front right there curves i actually did a stack fab curve port on this one here but it does have a curve back right there on the inside the interior radius is curved as well and then i got this curve on the outside corner right now it's in the rough stage i'm just just finished putting the baffle on that's why you got a bunch of extra glue there and you know you could see the seat, you know the sides of the plywood are definitely really rough. We got the overhang still from the, you know the curved areas. We're gonna start working on this thing. Got to sand it, router it first, um, get those edges rounded off, and then we're gonna hit it with the router, get some edge profiles on there, start sanding this thing up. It's gonna be a bare wood finish, so I don't have a ton of more work to do on this thing besides the fact that there's gonna be a lot of sanding and wood filler, but. We're gonna bring the videos back. Hopefully you guys like this one. It's two brutal sounds, big root 15s in this thing. Um, I'll have to get the spec sheet to remember exactly where we're at, but I'll, I'll bring that back in once we get a little more done on this enclosure anyway. Alright, so the first thing we got to do this thing is we're going to rough cut these edges so they're a little rounder so uh, our router bit doesn't have to take off as much wood, especially right here with this triple thick layer. That wouldn't be fun trying to take off with the router. So we're going to get this as close as we can with the jigsaw, cut it, and then we're going to get our flush trim bit, run it around the edges, and then flip the enclosure because we have these big sides to do as well, top and bottom. So we're going to get this jigsawed out and then get the router on it. All right, so I got the top routered out. One mistake I did make, and I think it was just in the rush last night to try to get the baffles on when I... Power off. Well, I just died. Anyway, um, when I put the baffles on, I normally will put two baffles on, flush trim it, put the third flush mount baffle on, and then flush trim it again because the biggest flush trim bit I have only cuts inch and a half material. Um, thankfully, this bit here has like a, a smaller shank than the outside diameter of the cutting surface. So I was able to raise the bit up a good amount. Let me unlock this. I'll get it eventually. So I kind of used that right there as like a top bearing running it through. And I had to just make a couple passes through. Um, I don't know how I did it, but... Thankfully, I was able to figure out something quick. These are flush trimmed, and we're gonna flip the enclosure over and get the bottom done, then we can start sanding this thing. Well, actually, then we gotta router it, the edges, and then we gotta sand it. We got the first sanding done, got the routering on there. Just went with a uh, small 3 8 round over and kind of used only uh, a half of it, really. I just wanted a small little profile just to kind of round over, clean up the edges. This thing looks really good so far. Got a lot more sanding to do. This is 80 grit sanding so far. Then I'm going to have to wood filler. Then to, uh, I'll probably do 100, then 220, then 320. Because this is a bare wood enclosure. So I want it to be really nice and smooth. So a lot of more sanding to do. And uh, we're getting there. 
Okay, so we're rounded, sanded, wood filler. I'm using a uh, the DAP plastic wood, all-purpose wood filler. It's uh, stainable. It works really good. It's like the only stuff I like to use, especially when I'm going with bare wood or a stained enclosure. If I have like a, a painted enclosure or I'm wrapping something, I'm nine out of 10 times gonna bond to it just because this stuff does have a, a little bit of a longer dry time. You can buy the pink stuff, but I don't personally like that. I, it, it's, it's apparently the same stuff, but I feel like it is slightly different. It just kind of, it acts different. It kind of goes into the wood different, but we got this all filled up. I'm gonna let this dry up for about an hour. I definitely made sure to fill in all the edge grain because that's the big thing with this, uh, with the bare wood enclosure is the edge grain, you'll have little rips and stuff from using the router bits or cutting it, whatever. Um, or just even naturally in the plywood, you're gonna have a little uh, little tiny voids. And I really just mean kind of pinholes, but I like to fill all those in. So I got all those filled in, got my brad nail holes filled in, went all the way around this. I like to go around an enclosure at least five or six times when I'm doing the wood filler because it's amazing what you will miss even if you think you did a good job. So gonna give this an hour to dry up. We'll be back. We're gonna sand it with some uh, 100 and then probably 220 then 320 or we'll figure it out when we get to it we'll see how smooth it is by hand um being bare wood you don't have to go as smooth on the final uh finish as you would uh stain but well you don't have to transition down as far so you can go like 80 to um 220 to 320 you don't have to go down to like 100 whereas if you were going to stain it i would suggest you go down to 80 220 or 80 100 220 because really you're going to get swirl marks in your wood it's really not visible when you're doing bare wood but it will be when you're doing stained stuff so just a little tip for you guys and for the wood filler like i said dap plastic wood we'll be back when this is all dry all right guys we got this thing sanded up i went through with 80 120 and then 320 to finish it off i did have to do a little bit of wood filler in between sanding the 80 and then the 120 that's just going to happen from time to time but things look good jesus thing is looking good so far definitely like that stack fab curved port it kind of happened on accident actually i uh intended to make it an actual just regular curved port but when i was making that last bend it broke on me so kind of improvised and went with the stack fab and actually i'm really glad i did kind of a good accident in that way because it gave a good look definitely a really strong kind of copied the um the mobile solutions um easy corners but except on the edges of mine i kind of flattened it out and did a like a gradual step down so it was a little smoother to the wood whereas there's i think kind of end like a 90 degree corner but either way this thing's looking good curse on the outside let me take this paper off the plexiglass last i'm going to start working on getting the leds soldered up and um yeah, keep moving along on this thing. All right, guys, well, I skipped ahead a little bit and I got the enclosure finished. So this is not only gonna be a regular episode, but it's going to be an enclosure finishing episode. And while I'm at it, I'll show you uh, another few projects or maybe a project that I'm working on in the background of this. So just finish this up again. This is for two brutal sounds, big, big brute 15s. Um, it's got a triple baffle on it, three curse, stack fab kerf, ton of bracing in it, window bracing, port bracing. Um, three quarter inch plexi windows this thing's looking awesome so i'll show you it get more to it and uh you guys can check out this enclosure all right here it is two brutal sounds big brute 15s in this beautiful bare wood enclosure got the stack fab kerf in the front there got the big kerf on the back and then we got another kerf here on the front and then on the inside of the port that is kerfed as well Triple baffle on there with flush mount. These uh, are definitely heavy duty subs. We got a window brace in there to keep the baffle from flexing, but also the rear wall, front wall with those two big plexi windows. Those are three quarter inch thick plexiglass windows. some specs go on this thing it is 12.45 cubic feet gross and that gives it a 8.4 cubic feet net so that's after port displacement sub displacement and bracing displacement 
It is tuned at 31.68 hertz. It's 44 wide, 24 deep, 24 high. This thing definitely looks awesome. It's got RGB LEDs, as you can see, with the controller. Got the standard bolt terminals in the back here. Puts the LED leads right there. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this enclosure right here. Again, this is for two Brutal Sounds Big Brute 15s. It's got the Curse all over the place, the Stack Fab Curve port there, plexiglass windows, triple baffle, flush mount, bare wood and finish. If you guys wanna order something like this, you can go check out my website. As always, I got links in the description below. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this enclosure. And uh, again, if you need anything at all, subwoofer enclosure-wise, Make sure you go check out my website. We got one more enclosure I'm going to show you guys before I end out this video for uh, two ZV5 15s. Got a whole bunch of stuff going on that, so we'll show you guys that. And uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All right, working on this one here. This again is for two Sundown Audio ZV5 15s. Got a ton of stuff going on in this. Gloss on the inside, gloss on the outside. That's why you see all the primer. Got the plexiglass window up there, painted, a little dusty right now. It's been sitting here. Let this primer dry up. I'm gonna do a couple more coats of uh, primer. Get this thing super nice and glossy. We're going with gloss black on the outside, so you definitely know there's gonna be a lot of body work involved in this project. Gotta make sure it is damn near perfect. I don't even wanna try to move that with one hand. Let me get that off of there, and then I'll show you guys a little more detail on the inside of this thing. All right, so. Here it is, got a ton of bracing on this thing. Two ZV5s and a lot of power. You definitely wanna make sure you got a strong box. This is for a Jeep Cherokee and they'll have our Jeep, one of the Jeeps. It's, a, it's, it's one of the smaller ones. I know all Jeeps are kind of small anyway, but you know, there's limited space for this thing. So with that being said, we went with one layer all around the outside. Normally with, you know, woofers this big, you know, it is a good idea to go two layers on the outside, but we kind of compensated with making sure we threw in a ton of extra bracing in this thing. See two braces in the port right there. It'll make sure those are nice and strong. You got the window braces in here, which are gonna brace the port again. Side wall, back wall. You got the two other braces in the port there, so you know this thing's gonna be super strong. So you actually got curves all the way around. That's why you see right there is a seam between two pieces of ply. Actually, is, both sections are about 90 inches long. So you got about 180 inches, 160 something inches of Kerf in this thing. Definitely excited for this, but it's going to be a ton of work. The the gloss black on the outside alone is going to be, I don't know, a week, two weeks of uh, sanding, painting, spraying, priming, body work, filler, you know, all the good stuff. But that's about it. I wanted to show you guys this enclosure because this is going to be something we're going to be working on in the near future of upcoming episodes. But that's it for this episode. Hope you guys like this enclosure and the enclosure for the TIG. Jeez, the two big brute 15s. Let me know what you guys think about both of these enclosures. And you guys already know where to get the best enclosures on the internet. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of In the Shop with Custom Lowe's. Thank you so much for all of you guys who've been watching this whole time. Really appreciate it. Looking forward to this year, doing all the new videos, all the new projects that are going on. My hair is a, a giant mess right now, but jacket. Anyway, um, we got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, I've been kind of keeping a lot of stuff behind the scenes because I was just trying to get through the, all the projects that I had, but ton of boxes, Impala build, Supreme Patty build, 
we got two other vehicles after that so this year is definitely going to be a jam-packed year of a bunch of awesome projects so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys will subscribe to my channel like this video and i will see you on the next episode and as always before i end each video got to give my patreon supporters and my youtube members a big shout out for supporting the channel doing going above and beyond honestly um you guys definitely don't have to give me anything by any means you guys don't have to support the channel you don't even have to watch these videos so for you guys who watch them i appreciate you and for you guys who are helping support by going on the patreon becoming a member or becoming a member of the youtube membership program i appreciate you greatly maurice baxter andrew henning troy lawrence critical audio jeremy rogers byron chambliss brandon coles alan joiner and chris thank you guys so much for uh, watching my videos supporting the channel and uh Hopefully you guys get some good use out of all the stuff that I offer. Again, if you guys haven't checked out the YouTube membership program, make sure you do. We've got a ton of awesome perks on there. $100 off enclosure for the highest tier. We've got tech support, call support, a um, ton of stuff. So make sure you guys go check that out as well as the Patreon too, where you guys can get exclusive deals on the website. And that includes everything I sell. So make sure you check that out. And thank you guys again for watching this episode. I will see you again on another one. And hopefully it is a good productive year this year.